This is our tutorial 7 of the Introduction to R tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will be going over how to summarize data using the R package table 1. As always, here are the instructions and the Google quiz for this tutorial. And here are also the learning objectives. Just like all of our other tutorials, our very first step is setup. So for this tutorial, we want to install and attach all of these three packages right here. Table 1, which is the package that we are focusing on, Dippler, as well as Enhance A. And we will also be using the 2013 to 2014 demographics dataset from Enhance. So let's download and import this dataset into our R session as well, using the Enhance function that we learned before. Let's also assign this dataset to a variable named demo underscore original. And this is what our imported dataset should look like in R. Now, since this dataset is so big, with all these different variables, we should only select a few familiar variables to make the summary a bit more manageable and comprehensible. So let's only select these four variables right here, gender, age, race, and education. And these are the first few rows of our new data frame. All right, now that we've finished setting up, let's continue to the next section. So the focus of this tutorial is data summary using table one. But what is table one? So table one is an R package that helps us construct a table that we call table one, or it is basically the baseline table that we see in biomedical research papers. And this package gives us access to a lot of useful data summary functions that we can use to summarize both categorical and continuous data. In addition, we can also identify normal and non-normal variables so that R can analyze it more accurately. Table 1 is unique in that it is very simple and easy to use, and one single function, and we'll go over that function today, can do tremendous data summary as we will see in the later sections in this tutorial. Now let's try to create a table one. The simplest way for us to create a table one is to use this function right here, create table one. And note the capitalization of this function. Then to tell R what data set we want to create a table one for, we can use this argument right here. And this is what our table one should look like in its simplest form. This table right now gives us how many records there are in the data set, or n, as well as the mean and the standard deviation of all of our variables. However, something is very wrong with it right now. Recall that the variables gender, age, and race are categorical. So how can we have mean and standard deviations of categorical variables? Right now, R thinks that these variables contain numerical data because this is how our original data set looks. So these numbers right here represent separate categories, but R doesn't know this. It thinks that these are just simply numbers. So that's a huge problem. But don't worry, there are two ways, or there are multiple ways, but we're going to go over two ways to solve this problem. First is to use Enhance Translate, and second is to use the argument factor vars that is a part of the create table one function. And we'll go over both now. So this is our first solution, Enhance Translate. These lines of code should look familiar to you. If that you don't, then it is suggested that you go back to tutorial four, um, where we go over the package Dippler. But if we run this code, um, and also let's change the header name so that they're easier to understand. If you run this code, then R should now recognize that these three variables are categorical. Because now instead of numbers, all of the, um, everything that falls under this variables are text. So now 
R should recognize that these three variables are categorical and the table one should adjust accordingly. So instead of a single mean and standard deviations for gender, race, and education, we now have all the categories of these variables fleshed out. And in addition, we are also given the count and the percentage of each category. So the second solution is to use the factor vars argument that is a part of the create table one function. And using it is as simple as this. So to specify which variables are categorical, we can just use factor vars equal to and then a vector of all the variables that are categorical. And note the difference between vars and factor vars. Vars tells R that, or sorry, var tells R all the different variables that we want to be included in our table one. But factor vars tells R which variables are categorical. And this section right here is just another way for you to write the same code as these lines right here. There are other arguments for you to use to customize your table one as well. First is show all levels. So when you nest show all levels into the function print like so, R will automatically show all the different categories of each variable. So for example, in this case, it shows both female and male. Another way that we can show both female and male is to use cram bars. But this argument only works on two level variables, or in other words, variables that only have two categoricals, because all categories will be placed in the same row. Next is non-normal. If we know that some or all of our continuous variables are not normal, then we can tell R this by using the non-normal argument of print. For example, let's assume our age variable is non-normal. Then we would write this code. In the table above, we can see that instead of the usual mean and standard deviation, we are now provided with the median and interquartile range, or IQR, for our non-normal age variable. We also have the option to only create table ones with only categorical or only continuous variables, like so. Next is strata. In a way, strata is like the function group by in Dippler or facets in ggplot. Strata groups data together into groups, or strata, and then summarizes each group individually. For example, if we want to separate our data summary by gender, we would need to write a code like so. And then we can print our new table one like this. Note that while the arguments show all levels and non-normal, um, belong to the function print, so they're nested in the function print. Strata is an argument of the function create table one. And right here is also a short description and breakdown of the new strata table one that we created. It will give you some more explanations as, as to what information this table one conveys. So now that we have our table one, and let's say that strata is our final table one. Now that we created our final table one in R, let's export it so that we can share it easier. So to do this, we can write the normal write.csv function that we've learned before, or that we've learned and used before in previous tutorials. And that's it. That's all it takes for us to export our table one. Um, so as you can see, the bulk of our data summary happens in R, and afterwards it takes only one line of code to export this very shareable summarized table that we created. Table 1 isn't the only package in R that contains functions that we can use to summarize data. There are alternatives to Table 1 as well. So in this part of the tutorial, we are introduced to a few other packages and functions that can be used to summarize data. And these functions are pa 
sorry, and these functions and packages do not do the same thing as table one. Um, and they all have their own strengths. And so they are most optimally used in different situations. Congratulations on finishing tutorial seven on data summary with table one. After this tutorial, you should be familiar with the R package table one, as well as the function create table one. In addition, you should also be familiar with the different arguments of print to customize your own table one. Um, and you should also know how to export your table one as well. And there are a lot more powerful functions in the table one package. Um, we didn't go over them in this tutorial, but again, you are free to explore them on your own. And there is a link to this document right here that you can use to explore more functions in the package table one. Good luck.